Okay guys, for those of you out there who just went to Ikea and bought the Otava light, I'm about to install it right now. What I'm first gonna do is shut off the power so my current light has no power and I don't have to be worrying about getting electrocuted when I touch these wires up here. All right, so I'm out here at my breaker and I basically just have to figure out uh, which one of these is going to be shutting the power off for my dining room kitchen area. I found one down here that says Dine Nook. I'm guessing that's it, but what I could do is just turn, up, turn off the main service disconnect, which would guarantee me no power. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Ow. After I turn that off, I reconnect the lock. So there's absolutely no way that somebody could accidentally switch the power back on while I'm working on it. All right guys, so I'm checking for voltage right now at the wires in the, inside the wire nut. Um, I know there's no voltage, but you can never be too safe. Okay, so after you've disconnected all the wires, what you're gonna wanna do is unscrew these two screws up here to drop down the light. So after removing the light, this is what I'm left with, a ground wire. You have your white and black, one of them's power, one of them's common. Okay, so in this Otava kit, the bulb did not come with it, by the way, but we opted for the 1800 lumen LED globe bulb that they had in there. And this is what was installed in the actual unit that was on, the display unit. And we liked how much light was being put out by it, so we, we went with the same bulb. When you open the package, you uh, basically get this cardboard box here. This box has the glass uh, globe that goes around the light bulb. You get this piece here, which I'm sure you all know what that is, if you know what light this is. And then you get the rest of the light um, pieces, and you basically don't need any of them just yet. The first thing you're gonna wanna do after taking out your old light is read the directions, first of all. But these are your three wires. You got your black, your white, and then your ground. So I have the light actually attached to the ceiling. Um, there's a couple things to note here. The light comes with this uh, plate to attach up here. However, in my particular circumstance, this plate was too big. The screw holes were too wide to actually attach to the electrical box that's up in the ceiling. All I had to do was use my uh, existing attachment plate, which obviously fit fine but that did present a problem. So on this one, you can see there's a hook that hangs down and it's used because this light has this piece here that's actually supposed to hang from the hook. So all I've done to fix that is used two zip ties. The light is very light, weighs, weighs basically nothing. Two zip ties will work perfect. And then um, that's attached. Also, what I've done is shortened the length of this wire uh, down. You can see kind of how much I've, I've actually taken off, uh, and it's probably, I'd say 18 inches or so. It's not a big deal if you need to do that. You just basically cut the, the outside black shielding off. There's, the three wires are still in there. Um, you do have to tie another knot here, and that's actually securing the, the wire into this um, white plastic piece, which then is being hung by the two zip ties that I have up there. I've got the wires all attached, the green to the ground, black to black, and white to white. I also used some electrical tape just to make sure those wire nuts stay on there. Um, everything is attached and good to go. So what I'm gonna go do now is turn the power back on and I'm gonna make sure that the bulb works and the switch works and everything, which it should. Uh, and then if that's good, I'm gonna button up the light and I'll be done. Okay, that's back on. All right, so everything's working and uh, that's a good sign. I basically have to button everything up and then think about installing a dimmer switch. It's very self-explanatory. This little black screw knob here is what holds this whole contraption together. I might actually need to tighten it up a little bit.
Well, the light is done. It's installed. Uh, it went really, really easy. I did have to make a few modifications, but it's a simple light to put up. Um, I definitely recommend it. This light is a very cool, stylish light. It looks like it should cost a heck of a lot more than the, I don't know, what did we pay, $35 or something like that.